Hey everybody, welcome back to Well That Sucks, brought to you by our sponsor, which totally doesn't suck, Astro Headsets. If you've ever been interested in the headset that I have worn the entire duration of the time that I've been making YouTube videos, it's a very good headset, and they're finally officially a sponsor, and you can go to the link in the description and get 5% off of one. You can do the brand new Georgie T Blue headset, or you can customize it back to red, you can do whatever, get any other headsets on the site, check it out. Use code Captain Sparkles at checkout. The link automatically applies it, but if you just go otherwise and you get another headset, then you can always type in Captain Sparkles in the checkout as an option for the discount. Also check out the like button, give that a click. It's pretty swick. That rhymes. Let's start off with number 19. Yesterday, our neighbor's 80 foot locust tree gave us some live edge skylights, a great view of the stars, and that rainforest cafe atmosphere that our living room had just always been missing. No injuries, dogs missed the bed, life goes on. That's kind of, scary yeah, i don't like that oh god i'm kind of glad i don't live next to any really tall trees that i think could cause this to happen so i guess that's good just high fire danger is all bro i was on a call prepping for some dungeons and dragons session that i'm gonna be doing later this week and it was storming where the dungeon master was and he just in the middle of us doing things he's like oh that tree just fell on somebody's car out in the street i'm like are you serious just a casual tree falling on somebody's car, like my worst nightmare, just happening right there. Terrified. I don't, I don't like this. Oh God. Uh, hopefully insurance covers it and they don't have an exception for trees falling on houses. Service with a smile. Oh God, are they gonna spill? They're gonna... Why were they filming in the first place? I, like, <laughs> I feel like the, the waiter bringing out water is not particularly exciting. So I don't, like, if it was a birthday cake or if it was some, like, dish that they'd be waiting for, why are you filming the waiter bringing out bottles of water? I mean, I guess good job, because you caught whatever happened there. Must have hit the glass on, like, the exact weakness pressure point in the glass. You're just like, I give up. Too much liquid. It can happen, though. Glass can just fail spontaneously at really, really weird points. It's super unfortunate. I think I've mentioned this in numerous videos, but I was once at the cafeteria at university and I, there was just, a, my cup was sitting on the table and then spontaneously all the liquid just comes out and I lift the thing up and the top just like separated from the bottom. And nobody would have believed me if it weren't for that somebody else saw it happen and they also were like, what the heck? So anyway, glass do be that way sometime. Losing your glasses while rock climbing. This is another instance of like, how did you get it at the exact right moment? I mean, I get it if you were filming, right? Because filming someone doing rock climbing, I mean, that's one thing, but also, it, are you, uh, wait, is that, uh, how, how are you getting, did you set up the camera yourself and it's like doing photos every now and again, or do you have a, a friend who's just like, really good at, even better at climbing, and they're like, not only will I climb this thing, but also I'll take the camera up as well and be taking shots, uh, well, well, we're both climbing the thing. You gotta send some mad respect to the people who are doing the video or photos of the people doing the crazy climbs. Granted, like someone might be free climbing and then the people doing video and photo, they'll be in a harness so you can send a drone out. But there's like, you gotta give some credit to the camera people for things like that. This, yeah, that'd probably not be good, especially if it makes it so you can't really see the contours in the rock very well that you need to grab on so that you don't unalive by falling off a cliff. You know, I, this seems like one of those situations where uh, you might want to have the strap around the neck at the very least. You know, when your life depends on it, that might be a good fail scene. I'm assuming you're not posting that while still on the rock, so you must survive. Got this permanently burnt onto my display. <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> this is the most meta post of all time. Very impressive. You enjoyed this subreddit so much that you baked it into your device. Aren't phones and stuff these days not supposed to have burn-in? Or is that still a problem? I thought we'd gotten past burn-in being a risk on most modern displays, but um, what do I know? I guess I never really leave displays on on the same static image for that long, to be fair, because it goes screensaver, so maybe it's still an issue, and I just I haven't thought about it in a while. I'm sorry that happened to you. A good reminder, though. My mother took up haircutting, or took up a haircutting course nine years ago. With just little practice, she confidently lured my brother in for a haircut. This is the result. I 
I really want to know like, how old your brother is. Okay, he's gray hair, so he's probably he's probably older. I'm just thinking to myself, like luring your brother in for a haircut sounds like something that a mom does to like a six year old kid. <laughs> so this, this, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is not a six year old, right? This is not this is not like that subreddit where it's like two years old or 40 is like so you know there's some babies that you look at the baby and you're like is that baby actually like 40 years old this is not one of those situations but you know on the plus side though there's you can't really worry about it too much because the worst case is you just shave it all off and then you're fine that's why i'm never too worried even if a haircut went super wrong and i've never had to do it but the worst case is just shave the whole thing off it doesn't matter it'll be fine I'm fine to go. I'm fine to be completely bald, and eventually that's where I'm gonna go once I start losing my hair. So we're chilling. We just got some new bushes this weekend, and as I viewed the cameras today, I saw this what the fork man. Oh, so I'm gonna just drive right into it. He's just gonna back up into it? Okay. Questionable parking job. Bro, what did the plant do to you? What is happening right now? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> What did plants ever do to you, man? Why are you so mad at the plant? Ow, he's punching a sign. That doesn't feel good. Your hands are gonna hurt way more than the sign from doing that. I'm sorry, but the wood is far more resilient than your body parts. <laughs> why, why is he so mad at the plant? It's like some kind of animal that forgot they buried their bone there or something and it's just like digging it up. You... <laughs> Maybe he was like playing IRL prop hunt and he thought the bush was someone he was looking for and so he just went really hard at it. Must have lost a lot of hit points, you know? When you shoot the thing that's not actually the person disguised, it just, it takes a lot off. And then he went for the sign. Ooh, the sign probably took off a lot of life points as well. Walked into the Cairo for minor back pain. Left in a wheelchair straight to the ER with paralyzing sciatic nerve pain. Mom, uh, you were... You were you were right, I guess. My mom has always been like, don't go to the chiropractor. You will, they can hurt you really badly. And I've always, like ever, ever since I've heard that all the time growing up, I've always, I've wondered like, why do people go to the chiropractor? And then, you know, talking to other people now that I'm older, so many people are like, oh my God, the chiropractor absolutely saved me. But still, you know, I was indoctrinated from a very young age to always be absolutely petrified out of the chiropractor and I've never been to one. And this just feeds my confirmation bias right here. I hope that you recover and you're okay and all that stuff. Back pain is no fun. Yeah, I don't know what to believe at this point. Right? When you're told something so much at a young age, it really gets drilled deep down into your core. Whether or not it's like true, and I'm sure there are scenarios where the chiropractor has absolutely just saved people and you have to go to the right one and all that, but man, just, you know, you can't shake that feeling of being told something over and over when you're really young and just being petrified of it as a result. Red Robin has pizza now, but when you customize the order, it defaults to no cheese and no sauce. I didn't notice it until I got home from curbside pickup. <laughs> this is the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hello, yes, I'd like to order a pizza. Yeah, but can you hold the pizza, please? I, I just like the pizza without the pizza. But can you make like a charcuterie plate? Just a little bit of the pizza without the pizza? Okay, thanks. Good, you got it. Just have to imagine that's a bit of an oversight. So let's let's design our pizza ordering, but you know. We wanna, we wanna not assume anyone's dietary needs, so we'll just start it without the, without the cheese and the tomato sauce. I don't, they should have at that point. They should have just started with like, here's your pizza. It's nothing. Would you like to pay twelve dollars for a box of nothing? Well, then come on down. You're in the right place. <laughs> Ordered a new chlorinator for the pool. The instructions came on VHS. New water pool care system. <laughs> I kind of love this. <laughs> Instead of having a written instruction manual, let's send people VHS tapes. Heck yeah, this will be great. And then they can also, say, it'll be a little side hustle for them. They've got they've got a bunch of like VHS players. And if you want to know how to take care of your pool, you got to buy one of those with it as well. Then they also sell all the old um, AV cables so you can hook it up to your TV. Oh man, that takes me back. It's been so long since I've plugged anything in with the red, yellow, and white. And HDMI was like still brand new, kind of like some things had it and some didn't. Some TVs were starting to get them. And that was just, that was like 11, 12 years ago. 
or something. Now HDMI feels like it's just been here forever. Waited five years for this cactus to bloom. Leaving for a five-day trip, I noticed this. Aw, oh, I'm sorry you don't get to watch it bloom. Hopefully, you maybe you can put a camera down or something like that and just capture it, do a little time lapse. Looks like you got a nice camera right there. Maybe that's taken with the phone. I don't know. Phones are pretty good at cameras these days. Also, I just, is that like a two-story window? I don't know if that's a two. It's just it's a very tall window. I don't know if you got one of those two-story living room things, but man, I want one of those. Maybe one day. My son teased his sister and she threw a Switch controller at my parents' 75-inch TV. Probably not the first time this has ever happened. Maybe it doesn't happen as often on purpose, but there, a lot of times there have been controllers, Switch controllers that have ended up flying at TVs, or Wii controllers as well. Zine, for those of you who watch the live streams, he even has an emote. I'm <laughs> throwing the... What is it? The whatever the controller he uses for Beat Saber. So, yeah, it happens. Oops. All right. At least you know TVs have come down a lot in price recently. I I remember when I got my first ever like 40 inch TV in high school. Whew! I paid like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, that was that was expensive. Ooh wee. I would have actually unalived a little inside if that happened to it. That would have been the end for me. Turned 18 yesterday. It's now 12 hours later and here I am on a train to I don't know where after being kicked out for not cleaning enough. Thanks, mom. Probably, it sounds like there's been a history of not great household situation. It's probably not likely to go, everything is great. We're a big happy family and we all love each other too. Oh, you just turned 18. Get the fork out of the house. I don't think you just turn on a dime like that. I don't know, maybe it's happened before, but I'm sorry that uh, family situation is not so great. Hopefully it's able to get resolved. Other than that, don't really know how to come in here. I got trapped in a turnstile and had to call the police. There was a green LED arrow above it that made me think I could go through. How do you get trapped in a turnstile and have to call the... Oh, that kind of turnstile. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> People are, pro people are just like playing basketball or just wondering why this guy is just standing in here. God, imagine if you didn't have your phone and it was like the middle of the night or something. You know, the funny part about this is I've actually thought about this before, but I like it went through my head that there was a way that someone could potentially get stuck in here. And I was like actually worried about that scenario. This was when I was like five years old and now it's actually happened. I was way ahead of my time when I was five years old, I'll tell you that much. My Costco pump kept charging me after it stopped filling. Is it just me or am I kind of underwhelmed by this? Like, yeah, I get it shouldn't, it shouldn't keep charging you once you click off the pump, but it's going up by tenths of a penny. And if you just put the thing back onto the hook, it would probably stop and say, do you want your receipt? So yes, this probably needs to be fixed. But I was going into this expecting it was gonna be like a slot machine hitting jackpot and it was just gonna be charging things up. Not like I was overcharged by two tenths of a penny and now two tenths of a penny more because I took my phone out and filmed it. This is very underwhelming. Is it? Is it just me? It must just be me because 65,000 upvotes on this thing, but I, don't, I mean, if this has been going for a while and you hanging up the pump didn't stop it, then that's one thing, but yeah, you should tell them about it. It's a couple tenths of a cent, though. The force was too much. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's got to just really be mortifying. That does suck. <laughs> oh, that kind of guy just, like, casually pulls the street. He's just like, all right, I'm going to... Just take this behind the counter, and um, don't worry. It's okay. It's all. It's all good. We're all. We're all. Let's continue. Where. Where were we? Where were we when we last left off? Boyfriend decided to try out a new hairdresser. Oh my god! <laughs> Just shave it all off. All right. That's all you gotta do, bro. Does anyone get the bowl cut these days? Like the bowl cut. That was. That was a thing. The bowl. Like a lot of kids had the bowl cuts. And my mom, my mom would always be like, why the heck would anyone get themselves a bowl cut? It's just like the dumbest idea. <laughs> and my mom just, oh, I don't know why anyone, why would anyone do it? Why would any parent knowingly allow their child to get the bowl cut? And who at this day and age actually gives bowl cuts? Oh no. Hey, as we were saying, 
Just, you can shave it all off, but also, like, there's still a lot of hair real estate left right there. I mean, it's totally, there's totally plenty to work with, and you can just fix it. We love bowl cuts here, dude. Autopilot brain. That moment when you get home, open the bag, and realize you're a dingus. It's okay, just get some, like, wire cutters, and then you can manually shape your own staples, stick them in there, even though I'm sure paper clips are far thicker than staples and probably won't fit out of the stapling part of the staple, but you know what? Give it a try. It's worth it. Just figure out a way to cut the paper clips like lengthwise so that they're skinnier. I can totally see how you would do this though because I'm pretty sure that the staple staples, they're in a very similar looking package. Like they've got very similar branding and I can totally, you're just like, oh, quick, grab it. Um, it's the wrong thing. I've definitely done this with other things that share similar packaging. At the top, for the last month, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna discover the value of life jackets and renter's insurance. Can I tell you, I'm very impressed with your windows, though. The fact that though no water is like seeping in through the bottom. I'm on a hill, so this couldn't actually really happen at my house, but I I have to imagine if it had like, any of my windows, it'd probably be like seeping through. But yes, the glass is gonna break very shortly and then that's not gonna be great. God, that is... What do you do? What do you do if you're looking at that and it's holding off, but you know there's nothing you can actually temporarily put up and you just have to watch it knowing that there is nothing you can do and it's just, you're gonna get flooded and you're ruined. Uh, best wishes, that's it. Make sure to like if you liked, check out the playlist if you wanna catch more Well That Sucks or you can just click over for the last end screen or the end screen for the last Well That Sucks video over here. Check out the Astro headsets, link in the description and uh, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell. Turn on notifications. I'll see you later.